studios uh, is the deceased Clarence Makwetu's comrade, uh, Philip Hosanna. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Ntate Hosanna. Um, perhaps you can start by just giving us um, how the PAC as a movement received the, the, the news of the passing of uh, Ntate Makwetu. Tomorrow, the 16th of April, we are bidding farewell to a stalwart of our revolution. A very rare man in the struggle. The news of Makwetu's departure, which came uh, somehow unaccepted, mm. <laughs> but Makwetu has departed. What, what would be your abiding memories that you have of uh, Clarence Makwetu when you consider that you've known him for so many decades? I met Makwetu in 1959 when I was a student at the University of Cape Town. We were staying together with migrant laborers in Langa, where he was the chairperson of the PAC, which had just recently been uh, launched as a party. Uh, we used to call him Tall Boy, <laughs> because he was tall. <laughs> and, and a very gentle man who spoke perfect Tosa. <laughs> and, uh, he was living in room number 42 in block B with Langa. Mm -hmm. And since I knew not a single word of Tosa myself, <laughs> he used to tell me to go up to his room and uh, fix up the pots and look after myself. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he was a very great fellow. Uh, we remember him very well, particularly during the middle of the struggle when he could very easily evade the police. But at the same time, Makotu kept contact with Robert Sobukwe, who was in jail in Johannesburg. And it was he who came with the news that uh, some of us, 10,000 of us, would have to leave the country and go and prepare for the armed struggle. Mm. Um, I'm just trying to think, uh, you know, there are various motivations that um, our struggle heroes had to join the movement when perhaps it was a lot easier to play safe. Why did he feel compelled to jump straight in and risk being detained, being banned, being jailed um, and tortured even? That part of Makutu is uh, most... Uh inspiring to those people who are in the struggle. Marco II led the PAC at the time when our parties had been silenced by the apartheid regime during the late 80s, 90s. And he was able to form an organization which was basically a shadow of the PAC. Mm -hmm called PEM, Pan-African mm. Mo Pan Movement. And it was he, like his name uh, tells us, he is Mlamli, the man who, who separates those who mm. fight. <laughs> That's what Mlamli means. Mm. And there was Makwetu who was able to meet uh, the likes of Nelson Mandela in Harare in, in a search for an amicable solution to our our struggle and our battle against the racist regime. Mm. I know that one of his big passions, and I'm just wondering if it didn't remain one of his uh, sad things, was the land issue. And it was a big thing at Codessa. He was one of the voices that said that we can't have an agreement if the land issue isn't brought to the fore. What were his thoughts towards uh, the end of his life and the 20 years that he spent uh, retired uh, looking back at that moment where he fought for the land for the people but didn't get his way at Kodesa? I, I think the message about land mm. will always be associated with Makwetu. 
Uh, in fact, some people thought very narrowly about what he was saying because Makwetu was very, very clear about why he demanded for the return of the land because he saw land as that type of property which we had to look at as a people both from the traditional and modern life. He saw land as something that needs to be pursued not only land for, for, for building homes and houses, but also land use and all that was underneath the land, the gold, the diamonds, and, and, and he could relate land with almost everything that we do, whether you're talking about your shoes or your clothes or your hat, all those could only be reached if you are con mm. linking that with the land question. All right, Sintate. Uh, Hossan, unfortunately, we've run out of time, but thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your memories with us this day. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank All you right. very much. Struggle icon Philip Hosanna, friend of Clarence Makwetu. Headlines next.